Keep down and follow me. If we can get to the fence, we got it made. Let's go. Golly, they made it. I hope we're as lucky. Come on! Ha! Ah, you want a heap of trouble, Turkey? One sure enough here now, heap of trouble, gal. to talk to the animals. It's incredible chatting with a chimp in chimpanzee. To sit in natto with a tiger, chatter with a cheetah, that's a neat achievement, you'll agree. If I could talk to the animals, learn their languages, I would be the greatest man on earth. If I could only find a teacher, I would reach each creepy creature, then think what scurvy's empire would be worth. I can converse in polar bear and python. Yeah, he can curse in fluent kangaroo. If people ask me, can you speak rhinoceros? I say, of course, us. And do. If I control our four-legged friends and all the universe, what a wicked place the world would be. <laughs> Until then, only Doolittle talks with the animals. He grunts and he squeaks and he squawks with those animals. And they can talk to me. Approaching messenger turkey? You mean messenger pigeon? No, I mean turkey. Messenger turkey? That's what I said, didn't I? Let me see. Well, I'll be a two-headed llama. You're a two-headed llama, stupid. My goodness, what have we here? <sighs> you got one tired turkey, Doc. But what brings you to us? Well, I've got some good news and some bad news. What's the good news? The big Thanksgiving boat race. It's tomorrow. See? The annual Sandwich Island boat race. Why, of course. And it's on Thanksgiving Day, tomorrow morning. Any boat eligible. Blimey, that ought to be great. But then, uh, what is the bad news? The first prize is a silver engraved loving cup. That's bad? Plus, a luscious 40-pound turkey. Why, that's Toots, my friend Toots Turkey. Toots Turkey? That's right, Doc. She'll be a gone goose if you don't save her. Oh, but of course. Uh, don't worry, we will. Where's the race being held? Which sandwich island? The lettuce and tomato sandwich island? The multi cheese with pimento sandwich island? Ooh, I always wanted to eat there. <laughs> Chi Chi, put your appetite away. The Sandwich Islands is merely a name, not a menu. Uh-uh. This year, the race is at South Point Bay. Then let us be underway. Way, Anchor! We're casting off for South Point Bay! Hey, men! What's with the flounder? They're taking off us somewhere. Cyclops, dispatch the sneaky snorkel and give a listen to Doolittle's doings. <laughs> what scurvy, what scurvy get? I've got to head it for the Sandwich Islands, Doctor. But what are we going to do when we get there? Well, they are having a race, aren't they? Yes, sir. And our ship, the Flounder, is an able craft, isn't it? Of course, sir. Then we shall enter that race and win it. Very good, sir. And Toots Turkey can sit at our Thanksgiving table instead of on someone else's. Well, mental giant, what do you hear? Hey, they're going to a sandwich island to enter a boat race to win a turkey named Toots. 
a race to win a turkey? That's a puzzle. Why, I ask myself, why a turkey? And what do you answer yourself? I do not answer myself because I do not know the answer. We'll adjourn to the classroom and discuss a possible strategy. I get to sit in front? No, me! Get out of the way, Fatso, it is my turn. Uh, oh, heck, my... Uh, 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 get to your seats! Do you know what you all are? You are imbeciles! Imbeciles? I thought we was pirates. Now, I assume everyone knows what this is. Suddenly? Oh, yeah. Of course. That's easy, boss. Well, what is it? It's a bird. But what kind? A, a big one? It's a turkey, you dum-dum. T-U-R-K-E-Y. Turkey. Now write it down. This turkey is what Doolittle wants, and the only way he can get it is to win the race. So what do we do? We win the race ourselves. And have the turkey for dinner. <laughs> no, bird brain. Since Doolittle wants the turkey, we give it to him. We do? Exactly. But in return, we make him give us his secrets of talking with animals, so we can use them to control the world. Now, in closing, let us all rise and face the flag for the pledge. On my honor, as a member of the Democratic Order of Pirates International, I promise to be greedy, tricky, mean, and icky in the pursuit of control over the animal kingdom through his friend and benefactor, Dr. Doolittle, D-O-P-I. Yay! South Point Bay is two or three islands away, but I'm sure we'll make it before dark. This diagram over here shows why islands are often so closely grouped. They are merely the visible peaks of undersea mountain chains. In the Philippines, there are over 7,000 islands but only 462 of them are over a square mile in area. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even know I didn't know that. All right, all right. Now, as to the matter of the race tomorrow. Thomas, check our engine. We seldom use it. I want it in top running order. I'll check it thoroughly, sir, and see that we have plenty of fuel. <laughs> Now then, you say all your crew members are animals? Well, Thomas Stubbins, my first mate, isn't, but everyone else is. There's Dab Dab and Chi Chi and the... Look, we're running a race here, not a pet show. They're a good crew, a smart one, too. Of course they are. I bet this one even talks. Polynesia? Certainly. Say hello to the gentleman, Polynesia. What? What does that mean? Obviously, it means hello. And what does that mean? Obviously, it means goodbye. Hmm. Well, good luck. It's your boat. Nothing in the rules say you can't have an animal crew. There, you're entered in the race. Thank you, sir. Toots! Dr. Doolittle, there's Toots! Toots! Oh, Toots! Hiya, sweetheart. Glad to see ya. Say, Doctor, considering everything, what if I stay here and keep Toots company till you've got that race won? Very well, Polynesia. You tell her now that I've seen her, I'll try even harder to win. She's a charming bird. He's nice. The kind I'd like to have come up and see me sometime. But... <sighs> There, there, keep your beak up, Toots. The doctor will get you out of this fix. He'd better. Otherwise, these gorgeous legs are gonna be somebody's drumsticks. Oh, there's our competition, sir. My word. Some very unusual boats, I must say. Dr. Doolittle, the famous water walker. It would have to be good, sir. Yes, Tommy. It's going to be a mighty rugged contest. Say, 
There's one that looks mighty tough. Yes, indeed. That one may give us some competition, but let's not fret. In a fair race, our Flanders is good as any boat here. I say better. That's the spirit, boy. Down, you pods. Out of sight. Just a few more hours. Then, with the concealment afforded by darkness, we shall make sure who ain't gonna be the winner of this race. It's okay, everything's all right, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's straight, everything's hmm? straight. What's going on, boy? It's from Doolittle's ship. Everything's dandy, sugar and candy. We couldn't have picked a more propitious time for some sneaky secret sabotage. With that beat bouncing in their skulls, we could steal the ocean, and they wouldn't even notice it was missing. could spoil my entire day. The pirates? Oh no, they're in the race too. At the sound of the starter's gun, the race will begin now. Cyclops. Practically speaking, we won this race last night. Recollect? Yeah, yeah, boy. However, as further insurance, let us observe the progress of the other participants. Look at that, Doc. Look! Oh, my gracious. Goodness gracious. You got something loose in your caboose, Captain? Like nuts and boats? Two down and more to go. I don't get it. He ought to be out of fuel by now. <laughs> Maybe he's got a tiger in his tank. No jokes, muttonhead. Those rascal pirates, I'm afraid they've again resorted to foul play. Yes, sir. These things that are happening aren't just accidents. Now look! Those rat scallions. 
Yes, sir. Robes. And wretched poor sports to boot. Tommy! Dr. Doolittle! Doctor! Our fuel tanks! They're running low! Dad, that's impossible. We had a full tank yesterday. Come see for yourself. I don't understand engines, Dr. Doolittle, but I can read this gauge. Look! Almost empty. Almost empty? But this simply cannot be. Whatever happened to all of our fuel oil? Dab, Dab, we must keep our engine operating. Without fuel oil? How can we? With any kind of oil that we have on this ship. Oh, no, Doctor! Not my cooking oils! My corn oil! My salad oil! My vinegar oil! Oh, no! And now, the entrants are headed back toward the finish line. The flounder, Dr. Doolittle's ship, is out! Stall! Oh, no! Uh, and now, the water walker is coming on strong. Followed by the survey skimmer and the... Wait! Yes, Dr. Doolittle's ship is back in the race, making the valiant try to overtake the leader. Here's some coconut oil. Will cod liver oil work? Yes, yes, Chi Chi. At least I hope so. Banana oil? Oil of cloves? Camphorated oil? Cinnamon oil? Just plain oil, oil. Fine, fine. Every little bit helps. I think we're doing quite well now. Let us trip him up a little, eh? Gentlemen, if I may use the expression. All right, this is your captain. We will now proceed to win the race and Doolittle's precious spanky friend. But a but a boss! Oh, here comes Doolittle now! Are they running without fuel? I am surrounded by incompetence. Well, don't just stand there. Get moving! Get out the electromagnetic magneto! Give it full power! Full power! Now we got him! Look, Dr. Doolittle! He's got our propellers! Tommy, I think Scurvy has finally done us in. Ahoy, Doolittle! Now, who is to be the victorious victor in the great turkey race? Us! <laughs> <laughs> The flounder, for some reason, has again slowed to a stop. Oh, no! There seems to be no hope for Dr. Doolittle this time. Dr. Doolittle! Downstairs, we've been watching, and you seem to be kind of fresh out of power, eh? Oh, hello, friends. Yes, out of everything, it would seem. The race isn't over yet, Doctor. We've got an idea. Well, we're open to any thoughts you may have. Okay. All set. Let's get this racer rolling. It won't be long now. The scurvy skimmer is coming in to victory. Wait a minute, folks. What's this? The flounder. It's underway again. Yes, the flounder is coming on strong. We've won, Toots! We've won! You're saved! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. It is with pleasure, Dr. Doolittle, that we present to you the first prize. Hold it! Hold it! Either you give me that bird right now, Doc, or we will have to commence with some very unpleasant unpleasantries. They've got the law on us. They have the heat on us, too. Run! Make way for speed, people! Faster! Faster! Wait for me! <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad we didn't meet them in a foot race. We might have lost. But we didn't, sir. And now... We are going to have this fine turkey at our Thanksgiving dinner. Sitting right between us as our guest of honor.
Next week, we come across an elephant who's allergic to peanuts. Okay, now? But as usual, Sam Scurvy and his pirates prepare to make things difficult. You guys keep your eyes open for Doolittle. A jungle drug store run by a very nutty druggist. Not too far away, the pirates are active, and I become rather involved in their scheme. Oh, they're a happy bunch for a while. Watch it, Scurvy, and watch Dr. Doolittle next week.